Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to quickly go over um, using layers with your pictures in a Google Slide. So Google Slides is two-dimensional. It's pretty flat. When you print it out, it's completely flat. However, there is a three-dimensional aspect to it, and it's with the layers that you can use. Now, you can watch my screen. I want to make it nice and big. But pictures and audio clips and videos... So we've got a lot of elements going on on this slide, and this is just for show. So um, this is just my sample. However, it's a great spot to demonstrate the, the layering with pictures and videos and items in your Google slide. So we'll start down here at the bottom. You'll see that this guitar goes over top of the text box behind it. Now, if I want the text box to go over top of that picture, I can go to Arrange. While I've got that guitar selected, and I can go to order, and I can send it forward and backward in several different degrees. Sending it to the back sends it all the way to the back behind everything, and bringing it to the front brings it in front of everything. Sending backward and forward just goes one layer at a time. So I can send it backwards, but you see it's not back far enough. I have to go back here and go to order again and send it to the back. And this time you'll see that now my picture is behind that text box it actually makes it very difficult to click on that picture, as you can see. So sometimes you have to move your text box out of the way to get your, your uh, guitar back and get it into the, into the spot you want where the picture, the words go over top of it. Now this is a dark one. See, again, the selection then becomes miserable. Now this picture is over top of that guitar and I can send this guitar forward one layer and let's see bring it forward one layer and that's not enough so i'm going to bring it forward again and again and there now it's in front of the music symbol so there's several layers going on on this um this google slide now the video is in front of my title box so if i want that to go behind i'm going to send it backwards and send it backwards and send it backwards. Sometimes this can get tedious when there's a lot of layers on a slide. And now it's behind the text box. So the same thing with this uh, audio clip, you can send that to the back. And now it's behind everything and you can position it into the corner, but your title box is still visible and you can still see that these are clickable and um, you can bring them to the front if you want. So I often use that with text boxes. I'll put a title and put it over top of a picture so that the picture is behind it. So just play with your layering settings and get it exactly how you want. And it's, it's kind of like a really cool uh, little way to design on a Google slide. All right, that's it. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.